Hi everyone, okay so today I'm going to show you a mating video for beginners and today we're mating Brachypalma harmori it's the Mexican red knee, previously known as Brachypalma smithy and so what I've got here is my female and then I've got the mature male in the tub here I put him in the tub because I just want to show you guys how to do things first okay so two ways of doing first um, uh, two ways of doing things first off um, and this is not really negotiable. You have to put the male into the female's cage Because in nature the male will go seek a female and go into her into her um, little house enclosure den Whatever you want to call it So the first way of doing things is you can put the female in a smaller cage so she and the male might recognize each other quicker and you might have a quicker mating, you won't have to stand so long having to wait. Most of my videos is cut because sometimes I wait 2-3 hours before they actually start mating. Okay, and then this, uh, but this also has the down, downside, the male can't run away because the enclosure is too small. I like to do the mating in a bigger enclosure, you have to wait longer. But the male has got more chance of running away. So especially when you're learning somebody's male, then you won't don't want to get it eaten. Well, I suppose regardless, you don't want to get the male eaten. Okay, and then an easy way for beginners is to get a piece of mesh and just divide the two spiders up. And so you will be able to see if the female is interested because either the male or the female needs to tap. I prefer the female to tap first, then I know she won't eat them. You don't want the male to just run up to the female because it could give her a fright, which you also don't want. And then she might attack out of fear. So what I'm doing is with the divider, they can see each other. If they tap, they can hear each other, but I just want to see the female's reaction first. Now you don't have to use the divider. This is also not the best way of doing it. The best way is just to have a paintbrush and separate them but the divider is much safer to see the reaction of both spiders so now you wait to see if there's any tapping from the male or the female and then you can go ahead and try and mate them if you see that the female is not going to try and eat the male but it is a, a waiting game and it takes a lot of patience Sometimes they mate immediately when you put them together. Other times they do take a while. Okay, so the male started tapping, so I took the, the divider up. Now about 17, 18 years ago, they used to call it shark caging. And they used to do it with the old, the old world spiders, where they would put a mesh divider in between male in the female's enclosure and eventually take the mesh divider out the next day. Now for me it doesn't help really for the old worlds because I found the old worlds mate a lot better than new worlds and they don't, they're not as tempted to eat the males before mating as with your, with your new worlds. Your new worlds we try and eat the male a lot quicker in in my experience than your old worlds sometimes people just leave the old world males in overnight or for a night or two and they have a very good success rate of getting out the male the second day so for me it's not really effective for old worlds so i'll just go into the females burrow and mate and do their thing and they rarely ever eat each other. But with the New World, it's a different story. New World females, they they tend to be better pets, but they tend to be more aggressive towards the males. Now, again, this is just my experience. That's why I still got the, the paintbrush in between them, just in case, because the female haven't tapped back yet, but she is walking towards them. So I don't know what she's going to do. Okay, 
Mile stove tapping. Now, now in the photos it looks like I'm mating flame leaf spew bottoms, but that's not the case. It's just I am videoing from my phone. So the videos aren't as good of quality. So you note the tub on the on the female so she tried to grab the male and I separated her so now we're going to go over to a different female and see how she reacts it's a lot safer this way if you've got more than one female to rather not use the one that tried to attack So the male tapped and the female just turned around. Okay, the second female is mating now. I did exactly the same thing that I did with the first one. And I still got my paintbrush. I normally stop the video before I finish, before they finished mating, because I need to save the mail. I obviously can't stand with my phone in my hand. And then when they're done mating, you can put the female's hide back in and feed her. As soon as the female pulls away, then she's done mating. Even if the male wants to go again, take him out. You don't want to lose the male, rather put him in again next time or with a different female. I'm just going to show you basically what's happening underneath.
So the male is trying, attempting to do a sperm deposit with his petty pulps. Now most of your mature males have got dukes to lift the females, but a lot of arboreals don't. So once a male is mature, they'll get the hooks, but the boreals will get the, the big boxing gloves, is what I call them. Or the pigtails, as my husband would say, it's two little pink thingies. Um, as soon as I get a photo, I'll show you guys what that looks like. Sorry for the quality, I'll eventually get a proper video camera, but right now it's just not worth it because I'm not making that many videos. But I will, I promise I will eventually get a, a proper video camera with a tripod and everything. You see there he's lifting it properly now. Bending it over, I haven't seen a deposit yet, there we go. So there you can see. Okay, she's pulling away now. So it's time for us to take the mail out. Or at least just keep a paintbrush handy for in case something happens. There's the berry pulps. Um, there's the pink tail thingies that I spoke to you about that you get on the arboreals. You can see on his first berry pulp there. Oh, come on, just take a nice photo. Okay, the mail is done. Now we can take him out. I'm just quickly going to put a top over the female because I really want to show you the pigtails on the mature males. Right over there. That's the pigtails. Try and zoom in just to give you an indication. Here we go, there they are. So once your arboreals have got those, then you know they're mature. I'll use a pokey, a pyrigalus later. And then I'll show you guys as well what to look for in mature male pokies. But anyway guys, I thank you so much for the support. You can comment if you would like me to give a shout out or anything. Or you give me a shout out, I give you a shout out. Just comment with your channel or inbox me as better because otherwise YouTube might, might see it as spam. And there you can see. Okay guys, so thank you for watching. Bye.